Hey guys, today I'm out at the Leland Disc Golf Course, and for today's video, we're going to talk about three practical tips for practicing for a disc golf tournament. When it comes to disc golf tournaments, there's a little bit more pressure and a little bit more on the line than when you play a casual round with your friends. So it's really important to be as prepared as possible when you go into one. Now my first tip is actually going to start all the way back at home, and that's doing your homework on the course. If it's a course that's used well enough, there's probably tournament coverage of it, but if not, then maybe there's a local content creator like someone like myself who's put out a video and showed the course off. If you happen to find a video of the course online, that's fantastic. That way you're not going to be caught off guard by any little surprises that the course might offer. Granted, it's still better to actually set foot on the course itself and get a practice round in, but at least you'll go in with some knowledge and you'll be a little bit more prepared than if you just go in playing blind. And now going into tip number two, when you step up to that first hole or any hole on the course, look for the simplest, easiest shot that you can make that you know you can execute well. For example, if you step up to a hole with a tight gap that's straight and then curves to the left at the end, it probably means it's going to be a backhand shot, but if you feel more comfortable throwing a forehand through the tight gap, throw the forehand and concede for the par. You're going to feel a lot better taking that par than trying to throw a backhand through a tight gap and then not being able to hit it. Also remember to break the holes down into sizable chunks that you can manage. If it's a 400 foot hole and you can only throw 215 feet, 230 feet, that's okay. All you need to do is just throw two 200 foot shots and you're right under the basket. My third and final tip and what I feel is actually the most important one is to have a game plan and stick with it. It doesn't matter if you're in the lead or if you're behind by 10 strokes, especially if you're playing at these lower amateur levels like I am myself, have a game plan and stick to it. One of the very first tournaments I played this year, King's Cup, Going into the final round, I was only three or four strokes behind the leader. Easy to catch up, but what I did was I didn't stick to my game plan. I felt like I was falling behind and I got more aggressive and I threw stupid shots that I really had no business throwing. Not only did I take extra bogey strokes that I didn't need, but I also guaranteed myself a last place finish by throwing shots I was entirely comfortable throwing. I got really burned by doing this. So let me reiterate, have a game plan and stick to it. And if you found today's tips helpful and can apply them to your game, make sure to comment down below. And if you have your own tips and advice that you would like to share, make sure to comment those as well. In the meantime, be sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Have a good one.